travel bird portable camping table. There's not a whole lot of information on it on the internet. There's a couple videos from the manufacturer and I think Adventures with Spackman did one. Um, I was intrigued with this table because of its pack size. I'm not a hiker. I do a canoe camp is about is the only type of um, camping I really do is canoe camp. So I was looking for something very very small and lightweight and I think I found it. Here is the Travel Bird camping table. The dimensions are 16 and a half inches long, three and a half inches wide, by about one inch thick. Another table that would be a good consideration would be a rock cloud table, but they do pack up quite a bit more. They're quite a bit cheaper. Um, so let's put this thing together. One of the cool things is, is the uh, carrying case is also basically like a uh, side shelf, like a storage pocket once it's assembled, and I'll show you that once we're done. Open it up, pull it out. You do have many loose pieces with this table. So I usually shake them out like this, lay them down, and then you start putting the table together. It comes in mainly four. This is an option. This is an add-on. So the actual main body of the table comes in four pieces. Like this. You take your silver bars. You go crosswise with them. Then you take your pieces with the rubber ends on them in the hole and you put them into these receivers. And that locks the bars in. Do the same thing to the other side. There's one thing bad about this table. It's a little bit finicky if you don't have a perfectly flat surface. But it is manageable. It's not that big of a deal. Just something to consider. Put those same pieces on the other side. And then you take these pieces, these crossbars, and you put them through those holes and spread it apart. Just turn a little bit. And then same with this side. So there is your table. Right there. This is how the storage bag attaches. It has this Velcro on the backs. So you take these two little yellow loops, put them on the ends of those crossbars, and to make it more rigid, you fold these over and hook the Velcro to itself. It's not really a necessity, honestly. It doesn't really matter unless you've got some floppy stuff. If you've got longer utensils, put them through these gross gain, gross grain loops right here, and then you got your side table, or your storage pockets. So, pretty cool on that. If you purchase the optional side tables, I bought the package with two of them in it. It was $10 more, I believe, for both side tables. I only use one. I leave one at home. You use the side with this um, hem on it. You put that towards, towards the table. You put it in, and then slide it forward. Oh. And then there you go. It's not as rigid as these pieces, but honestly, it holds. I mean, it, it's it's pretty good. It's not that big of a deal, honestly. It's, it's pretty good. So that's about it. The reason I don't use both side tables is because I like to use the storage pocket, and with that storage pocket, I haven't found out a good way to use the storage pocket and the additional side table. So I just leave this at home. I do plan on buying another one. Um, one of the cool features of buying two of them 
is when I buy the second one, I will buy just the base model and it will be able to lock into this table to create two tables off of this attachment. So I think that's a pretty cool option. And that's about it. Let's see how it fits next to the chair. I'll give you a couple of tips for disassembly. Uh, just because it takes, it took me a minute when I first started putting it together to get all the little rods in there and have everything collapse down on itself to fit back in the storage box. Let's see, I lay this out, flip this over, take this off. The side storage, the side um, add-ons are the last thing that I put on. So you take the cross members out. Pop your uprights off. Knock any dirt out of them. <laughs> then take your crossbars off. The outside um, table sections with the hubs in them are the smaller pieces. So I take that, put it in here. Then I take the other side, flip it opposite, and put it just like this. And then I take the other inner table section, kind of slide it in like that, and then they all fit on the extensions quite quite perfectly oops, I messed up quite perfectly just like that if you can see that and then what I've come to figure out is to get all these to fit I put them in I put them in like this while I'm holding it together then I take two of them put them in with the rubber going away from me if my hands would work properly today. And then I take two of those crossbars and then you put them inside, inside like that just to take up less space and put those at the top. Like I said, a little finicky compared to the other like a uh, rock cloud table and then hold while you're still holding it together then it'll fit right oop, fit right inside the storage bag and that's with one extension and then that's it thank you Ground's a little uneven here, you can just dig it in. And that's it. You can put your drinks, you can prep your food. I usually put my stove right here and cook cook some food. Um, or warm up some coffee, things like that. Um, I used to never carry a table, but I absolutely love having one. Uh, we go canoeing with a another uh, a group of us and they all have tables and on the last trip we went on I used it the whole time I borrowed one of the the one guy has uh, two of them he brings and I borrowed it the entire time and as soon as I came home I bought me a table so it's not really a necessity but it is definitely awesome to have one it's a lot better than cooking your food down here in front of you especially if like your legs get your knees get sore or tired or something and you want to stretch out then you got a bunch of food and stuff in front of you and you can't you you know you're stepping over stuff this keeps everything off the mud and the dirt um i said i i, I love it i basically i won't go without it i really wouldn't mind having a rock cloud which is quite a bit cheaper i'm on amazon than this one but i do love how this one gets so much smaller um, which isn't quite a necessity when you're ca canoe camping because uh, we don't live in Canada. We don't really have to portage a whole lot. Uh, once we get on the river, we don't have to carry our canoes until we're getting on or off the trailer. So, um, But it is nice to have small, lightweight gear. With that does come 
The downside of it's a little bit more expensive and it's a little bit more finicky to set up versus the rock cloud up. I would say the biggest cons are it is finicky to put up with all the small pieces um, where you got to like pull the rods out, put the rods into the slots in the tables, get everything aligned and then pop the pieces in. Um, once you do it once or twice, it's it, it, it's pretty easy. It's, it's, it's not a difficult process by no means. Um, uh, another con would be the price. It's $60 table versus the rock cloud that I think is $20. And then if you get the two side tables, um, that's an additional $10. So $70 for the table with both with both side tables. If I were to buy it again, I would only buy the one side table and save $5. Um, they do have an option for that. Um, but like I said, the pros are that it's lightweight and it's very small and collapsible which I either can put this in my chair bag if I'm using a different chair or I put it in my food barrel um, with my food, my stove, you know, all my pots and pans, stuff like that because it's basically kind of a, a kitchen accessory for me. You can't play cards on it too, which would be, which I've never done, which you could do. So that's about it. So thank you.